Brace yourselves. I love this song. This is Ninth Symphony. All right, you guys ready? Here we go. Um, what you do is you. By the way, this is incredibly creative. I can't take credit for this. I just saw someone do it. And I thought, whoa, that's gotta be so nice. That's so nice to see. Uh, all right, here's your clear, clear idea here. So, so you suppose you you could take some um, some um, magical scissors here, and you cut a line here. Cut. And um, since it's that was so fun to cut there, you just keep cutting some more. This time you cut back, but not all the way to the end. And you cut here from center, but not all the way to the end. And you cut a few more times. How many? Up to you. Maybe a gazillion times, or a gazillion, gazillion, gazillion times. Anyways, you cut a whole bunch of them, and, and the, the caveat here is that only one of them None of these go all the way to the end except for the very first one that you did. Okay, you cut until your you cut all your heart out to till, till you're satisfied cutting here, and, and then something important is going to happen. You're going to uh, grab this circle here, and and out of these, out of the one cut that you made all the way through, you're going to open it up like a fan, like this. Open it up, and and, and it's going to look uh, it's going to look something like this if you do that. It's going to look like that. Um, Okay. Again, here's here's how you cut it. Cut it in there. First cut all the way from the outside towards the center. All the other cuts not all the way in. And, and, and let us, while we're at it, study some things here. On the blue line, how long was the blue line? Well, that's the circumference. The, the circumference was equal to two pi r. That's the, that's the uh, all the distance all the way around, right? The blue line. And, and once you've cut it, now where's the blue distance? Well, that would be here. And how long is it? Well. It's still 2 pi r all the way there. And where's r? Well, the radius was this initial cut from the beginning to from the center all the way to the outside. Where's that here? Well, that would be here. That would be the, this is the original cut right here. Same thing as that r. Okay? Think, whoa, what in the world is going on here? How's that going to help us? Well, you're in good hands. Believe me, I'm an ex, uh, uh, trust me, I'm a doctor. All right. Um, so so then, what what you do is you you take your magical scissors and you cut it one more time. This time we're gonna cut right around here, right around the middle, wherever the middle is. We'll take our scissors here and cut and separate this into two pieces. Okay. Now just imagine what would happen. You cut that and separate it into two pieces. That becomes something like this, except that it's cut. And so you take this piece. There it is. Separate them. It, it becomes cut just like this. You got that? And then, but wait, there's more. I'm gonna make an infomercial out of this. But wait, there's more. Um, you could take this one right here, and all we do is uh, let's see, right click on it, and then transform it. Let's flip it horizontally. No, 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 no. Let's flip it vertically. What the hell? F flip it vertically. Yeah, there you go. And then, uh, then let's flip it horizontally. Let's just flip it all day for fun. All right. Uh, uh, and then what you do is you you think this guy has a whole bunch of holes in it because we opened it up and it left a whole bunch of holes. But we're gonna take this one now and make it fit the holes. This one's gonna fit right on top of that one, and they're gonna fill. One will fill the holes of the other, and they will be exactly solid now. Um, and and then let's let's think about that. The original one was two pi r. When I cut it in half, now each each section will be uh, this will be um, uh, pi r long from here to here. That's half of it, and from here to here will also be pi r, right? Stop me if I'm lying. Pi r and pi r. That means that this piece right here uh, would be uh, pi r. That's half of the entire circumference. And this one over here would also be pi r, while the height would be r, and it, actually now it's solid, completely solid. The gaps were filled in by the other piece. And now we're asking, the major question is, what is the area of the shape? That was the original question, um, the area of the shape. 
of course when we had it originally the area of that shape is kind of hard because uh, uh, the area of that shape is hard because it's a circle but but with our magical cutting and our incredibly creative uh, rearrangement that's not a circle anymore that looks like a rectangle a perfect rectangle for that matter as long as you made infinite many of these cuts uh, or a lot of them anyways so so now the area is a piece of cake what is the area for a rectangle of course it's base times height so the area would be equal to um, the base uh, times the height base was pi r times the height is r which becomes pi r square now you see why they pay me they call me the mailman because I deliver that's right ipikaye That's my friends. That's why the world famous uh, formula for for a circle, the world famous formula for a circle. If you have radius r, uh, the area is equal to pi r square. Okay, you can take that one to the bank. Now let's go back to our, our little problem here. Um, back when we were trying to do this, um, uh, suppose that you know we were trying to measure it. Uh, we're trying to actually measure how many of these fit in there, how many of these squares, and, and now we have exactly the technology that we need. This was radius 4, if I remember correctly, so we can actually calculate it. The area for that would be uh, pi times r squared, which would, if the radius is 4, it would be 4 squared, so it would be um, approximately 3.14 times 60, and whatever that may turn out to be. And, and and that this this was my friends is a professional way to 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 find areas um, of a circle, okay? Then now um, what do you want to do now? Is just practice a whole bunch of areas, um, but uh, that takes away from the climax. My favorite proof here. So I think I'm gonna let you guys practice that on the homework because uh, I'm uh, way too sexy for the grunt work. All right. Uh, I think. Uh, I think.